In this video, you'll learn how to make it look like the character is moving toward or away from the secret door. Start by programming the character to move. Drag out a Move 10 Steps block. People don't walk without moving their feet. Several scratch sprites come with different costumes that make it look like they're walking the way people do. To check if the sprite you chose is one of them, click on the Costumes tab. This example uses the Scratch Cat, who can switch between these two costumes to look like it's walking. If you did not choose a walking sprite for your story, and you would like one, click on the Choose New Sprite from Library, then the Walking menu. To copy your code from one sprite to another, just drag the code into your backpack, click on the new sprite, and drag the code from the backpack to that new sprite. Now, you can get rid of the old sprite and use a walking sprite instead. To make use of the walking costumes, you need to switch between them. To do that, go back to the Scripts tab. Click on the Looks menu and find the next costume block. Click on it to switch costumes. To keep switching costumes without clicking the block over and over, place it inside a repeat loop. To move while switching costumes, place the Move block inside the repeat loop as well. OK, test the code. Now it looks like the character is walking as it moves in a direction. But you want the character to walk toward the door and go through it if a certain condition is met. To make that happen, place the code below if answer equals yes, and above switch backdrop 2. OK, test the code. If you answer, should I go through the secret door with yes, the sprite should walk toward the door. And it does. If you answer no, the sprite should move in the other direction. The code to make the character walk in the other direction is the same, so just duplicate the walking code that you made already. Before the character walks, though, it needs to change direction. This is where the point and direction block comes in handy. Point in direction 90 faces the sprite right, which is the way it's already facing. You want the sprite to walk left, away from the door. Place the point and direction block above the copied walking code. Now click on the dropdown and switch it to negative 90. That should point the character in the opposite direction. Click on the block to test it. Wait, the main character is upside down. That's because of how the character is rotating or turning. The set rotation style block will fix this. The sprite should only turn left or right. Click on the drop down menu and select left right. Now click the block. The character should only face left or right. You'll notice that it turned right side up. To make sure it stays that way, place this block at the beginning of its character's code just below when green flag is clicked. Place the walking code in the else section of the if answer equals yes block. OK, test your code again. Try saying no when the character asks if you want to walk through the door. The character should walk away from it. Then try the code, but enter yes instead. But the character still goes left. This is because the character continues to move in the direction it was last told to go. To make the character move right, place another point and direction block above the walking code in the answer equals yes section. Click on the drop down menu to make sure it is telling the character to go right. Test the code by clicking on the green flag. Type no first and watch the character walk left. Then type yes and watch the character move right. Nice job. So you can control where the character goes. It should always start in the same spot. Pick a spot where you want the character to start and drag your sprite there. Then place an updated go to xy block under the when green flag clicked block so that the character will always start in that same spot. Test your code by clicking the green flag. And it works. Take it with the values in the move and repeat blocks to change how far the character moves. Now it's your turn. First, use the next costume, move, and repeat blocks to make your character walk. Then make a copy of this code and modify it to make the character move left or right. Then place the point and direction block above the code to make the character walk in the right direction. Then put the walking blocks in the correct section of the if-else block for the direction it's going. Next, use a set rotation style block with left-right selected to make the character stay upright when pointing left. And finally, use a go-to XY block to make the character start in the same spot each time the program is run.